Hello, this is a Grotterin Steinweg Grand Piano, 190 centimetres long, that's about 6 foot 3 inches long. Just come into stock, so just uh, appreciating the piano and seeing what sort of work we might need to do to perfect it. The case is in extremely good condition, it's been kept well and there's no real fading on it at all. The legs are darker than the uh, other parts of the piano as we mentioned before, that's quite common. And this uh, double rim line down here is typical of Steinway as well as Groch and Steinweg. Of course Steinweg is Steinway, that was the European name Steinweg and they changed his name to Steinway so there's a lot in common with the two pianos. So I don't think there's any real damage here. The case looks extremely well kept. Um, it was restored in the last restoration was in about the year 2000 or perhaps just before um, by an English firm and it's a very good job that they've done. So the top there you can see actually that doesn't really show live very much but it's not actually a polish problem if we go around that way we can see it's a slight indentation for some reason so just trying to show all the defects so if you would like to try the piano and not able to come in then you know exactly what it'll look like so those are the that's the only real defect I can find actually there's no real fading um, it's integral the case completely uh, beautiful wood too uh, looking right round the other side so if this this is typical of the Steinways as well uh, of the same age and much later as well they kept that style now the key tops are one piece ivory we're going to buff them they're just slightly needing buffing that means they won't attract the dirt if they're shiny so that's why we buff them but they're in extremely good condition as you can see um, and there's 88 keys sometimes on, on older pianos you get 85 keys so that's important to know so this is a normal keyboard like a modern piano this is an older Grotter and Steinweg Steinweg Nuft is what they put on their older pianos and Brunswick is where it was made. Excuse my pronunciation, I'm sure it's not right. Uh, and I'm not quite sure of the exact age of this piano, but I, ju I just wondered, and if you're in the trade you perhaps could help, uh, because I wondered if this was actually the date of the frame casting, because Steinways do something very similar to this. Steinways would put numbers only, but here we see Roman numerals uh, 5 six seven eight and s is september i think in german and 79 would be the age and this is commensurate with the both the tone and the style of the 1970 uh, sorry 1879 piano steinway the same extremely rich and warm some of the very best tone pianos ever made i believe if you're in the trade you would be great if you can back me up on that because i'm sure it's true um, and everything's been done beautifully as you can see this stringing is really well done in the last restoration i say the last restoration because the casework's been restyled certainly this casework would not be for that well this this would be 1879 but the legs have been replaced and the casters you can see their rubber casters move beautifully um, maybe it was made to move around on the stage or something uh, why redone sorry to move around on the stage but it's beautiful I think it's well well restored and the legs are very substantial and uh, generally a very solid feel to it. The pedals are extremely low which is wonderful about three centimeters from the floor like a lot of Becksteins as we've mentioned before which gives you a lot of uh, potential for putting caster cups under if you wanted to get more legroom but there's already about 63 centimeters legroom 61 will be standard for a lot of p modern pianos uh, a lot of grand pianos particularly so 63 and then very low pedals you could bring them up at least another inch if you want if you were a tall person and wanted more legroom now of course the tuning pins were replaced when it was restrung they're large tuning pins um, and extremely tight which is uh, what we're look looking for by the way if you see that tuning pins are at different levels that might mean that the tuners knocked them in so they weren't so tight that's just one way of telling but um, these are extremely tight tuning pins and it's a441 and almost exactly in tune of course the the put the owner previous owner was using it um, all the time so he would have uh, kept it in tune uh, and you can see new dampers there they're not quite lifting as high as I'd like them to lift like them to lift a bit bit higher and if we look at the the lift of uh, the base here that that's a bit bit too early I'd like them to lift slightly later and particularly down here you can see they're lifting rather early should be about halfway to the string or maybe two-thirds depending on 
what your preference was, but we would set it normally about halfway to two thirds towards the string. You can see those those two lifting too early, really. Um, so these are minor things. That the, the touch already feels good. Um, the less off is slightly uh, slightly early too, but again, minor adjustments will just make it play a little bit more sensitively. The action has been well restored. The new bushings here, um, keys are tight, and the hammers, they obviously been used a bit since it was restored. So if we look at the hammer wear, that's not excessive really, uh, just needs light refacing voicing, um, but actually sounds beautiful like it is. So the hammers were, were, were replaced at that time. The action, by the way, if you're thinking, well, it's rather an old piano, how do I get parts for it? It's almost identical to Steinweg, Grotchen Steinweg later action, or made modern action for that matter. There's not really any significant change. There's a few things that are different. This is a knuckle rather than a roller, but that works perfectly and it's been recovered. So there's no reason to change that either. So this will play just as sensitively as any new piano. So there's no major work to do since it was last restored, just a fine regulation to improve the touch and just make it slightly more sensitive. It's in tune already, we haven't tuned it since it came in and obviously we'll fine tune it before it goes out. Um, but generally, I'm very enthusiastic about the piano and pleased. Last restored by Horsham Pianos in about, I think 2000 actually. So the, the, the previous owner did buy the piano from Horsham Pianos about 20 years ago apparently. Um, and uh, it's got good legroom for tall people, that's important. And that's why I often put it on because a lot of people are tall and fine grand pianos can be uh, a bit, your legs are a bit squashed underneath, but that's not going to be a problem with this one. Looking at the key weighting, uh, we're pretty much as we should be, slightly heavier on the bottom base as it often is. And once we've lubricated the balance and the rollers, I notice the rollers need lubricating as well. Very important, to, both to get smooth touch and also to reduce, it does reduce slightly the the inertia which is useful when you're playing you notice it when you do all of them obviously one key you wouldn't notice that much but the whole lot you would notice so 48 foot's pretty much as it should be that's very encouraging indeed so we'll just do some fine regulation get the piano in really perfect playing condition just like a new piano let's compare the tone of it with some other grand pianos <laughs> This is a 1925 Bursendorfer 170. And the Yamaha G2 made in 1978, 169 centimeters. So that's the Grotchen Steinweg, 190 centimetres long, made in about 1879. The previous owner of the piano did actually come in in 2019, so not that long ago, to look at a Model A that we had. Wonderful piano made in about 1900. But he went home and decided he preferred this piano. So that says a lot about it really. And I think it's as good as any grand you can get. Obviously it's personal taste as to what sort of grand piano you prefer, but it's it's mellow just like the pianos of that age are. And really the tone is extraordinary, I believe. But you'd have to try it out. If you can't come in to try the piano, then please do uh, write to us, info at robertspianos.com, saying what you'd like to do, and we'll see if we can help. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>